lads, we are closing in on the end of an era. Another month or two, another Byzantium campaign. You guys know how it is, but uh, don't, do not fret. We will get some more fun stuff in the future. You, uh, you can always expect that here, but welcome back everybody to Byzantium here. Imperium Romanum. All right, this fort and Bizert. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the run. I am having so much fun with it. Uh, loses a core on Genoa. But homie, my brother in Christ, I will I will not do that. But yeah, welcome back, everybody. Hope you've been enjoying the run. I know I certainly have been. Let's take like half these guys out because we do not want to lose all those sailors. We don't have that much. What are you guys doing over here? My subjects are just going to keep on beating these guys up. So uh, we have two, three more wars. Well, one, two, three, and then probably four to get this one uh, left. We're going to annex you. You suck. Goodbye, Pope man. Wrecked him. Hardly knew him. Oh, it's already Orthodox. Is it? It is. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, also, do we have any cultures? Well, no. I, I didn't show you guys at the end of the last episode, so here you go. Here is the culture map mode. Everything is Greek. It always has been. Um, now, obviously, uh, the fact that we're going to be forming the Roman Empire soon, you have to remember, any of the cultures that you start before, like, if I'm converting cultures and then I click this button while provinces are converting, only provinces that are Greek at the time will switch over to Roman culture. Right, so it has to be done converting before you click the button. So it's a, it's important that you guys know that difference. Um, so after a certain point, I'm not going to do any more, mostly just because I don't want uh, a bunch of provinces to randomly get converted to Greek after the fact. That would be a disaster. So we've won this siege over here. Let's get these uh, these uh, boyos over here from Africa. And uh, yep, <laughs> they're stuck here. They are stuck here. Oh, y'all love to see it, folks. Oh, we stack wiped like 80-some thousand. <laughs> They've lost 116 men. Yeah, well, that's what you get. All right, cool. Let's head on down into the interior. And if you guys actually set these guys on um, autonomous siege, they will they will siege back provinces for you. It's something that I don't really use a whole lot because it's a little janky, like a little bit. It's not super janky, but moderately janky. Right, we also have a ton of ships over here. Let's get an extra admiral. Let's have you guys hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. Do we have our flagship in here? I don't think we do. Do we not have a flagship? Did my flagship get sunk? No, I have one. Oh, it's over here. What the heck? Right, let's, let's pull our fleets together here. First of all, if I have galleys, I should be using them. It'd be foolish of me not to. All right, make sure you are sinking as many... F you sons of biscuits. They are running away. Cowards. Absolute cowards. Well, this is what you get. They have a better admiral than me, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Try to not be out on the siege... On the, the monthly tick, though. They, they don't have anywhere to dock up. All right, give them a repair tick. Truce with Great Britain is ended. Don't worry, they cannot join our coalition. Now, they might be able to join after this one. Um, Great Britain, Great Britain, Great Britain. I don't see them on there at a quick glance. So I think we're good. Are they... Oh, they're Orthodox. That's why they'll get much less with them. Even... Oh my gosh, so many Orthodox. There's like no Catholics left. Iceland is Catholic. And uh, who is this over here? Bremen is Catholic. That's it. That I can see. A couple of people in the New World, maybe? No, they're not even Catholic. Even this Caribbean colony is orthodox. I uh I don't know when they added that, the the forced conversion, but I am super thankful for it. It is awesome. Gets me excited. Alright, truce with France is over. We need to attack them before they join our coalition. They can't join it while they're at war. But um, since they're at war, we might as well uh, you know. Might as well uh you know make like a make like a baby and head in. Head out. Baby's head out, right? Oof, that would be weird if they didn't. Let's go ahead and have you guys uh, autonomously siege. Let's actually have all these guys autonomously siege. If you just don't, if, or, yeah, if you just click this button here, they will autonomously siege. And it's like kind of janky because they will like siege down provinces that are like uh, occupied and they'll like try to come around here, but unless you, um, 
say specifically, hey, siege down these provinces in particular. See, like they're also doing this stuff where they're just chunk chunking a ton of men over here for to attrition for no reason. It happens. It happens. I'm, I'm not too upset about it. As long as we uh, we can siege them down and they don't siege down too much of my land, I, I'm not really too upset about it. There you go. Get you guys over here with a general. There we go. Nicodemus. Nicodemus is a legendary figure in the Bible, right? I'm trying to think, actually. Was Nicodemus, he was the... Uh, story of Nicodemus. Nicodemus was the... Um, the theocratic leader. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm so I'm being such an idiot right now. I'm like drawing a blank on the title, but uh, they were like the theocratic leaders of uh, of Israel. They're the men, the 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 guys who actually crucified Yeshua. Interesting fact. All right, cool. We'll take that easy peasy, and we'll yoink some development to core it up a little bit cheaper. But yeah, Nicodemus. He was uh basically kind of a gave some insight into uh, what what Jesus' teachings were and whatnot. Cool stuff. All right. Very good. Very good. There you go. All right. So this is going to be painful. We're going to need a lot of war score for this one. But we can do it. <laughs> Maybe. I <laughs> love it. Uh, there's no doubt Brit Great Britain does not want to join this one. So we have to attack them before. Oh, we can totally do that. And then it then all right, let's uh let's scootage these guys as well. And uh Royal Marry them. We need to get our relations up with them just enough that we can attack them. So before we peace out this war, trading in coal, very good. All right, let's get some spy network on them as well. We're going to attack them. There you go. The French are landing men over here. Absolute fools. All right, let's see here. How many ships we're upgrading? A couple of light ships and whatnot. Now, how many heavies do they have? Let's see here. Uh, military navies. They've got a lot of heavy ships, but uh, we might be able to make it work. Okay, let's get you guys out of here. Have our navy sink their navy. Did we just stack wipe them? I think we did. No, they fled off. Where did their navy go? What? It says I sunk nine ships. Wasn't there? Was that just only like five transports? And I just didn't see it. So I, I think I, it is actually going on over here. All right, Katsina is out of that war. So let's have you guys split. Have like half over here, half over here. Not bad though, man. Not bad. Industrialization. Needs to have a furnace. All right, Constantinople. So I need to have a furnace. Hmm. Do we have any more furnaces we can build? Oh, we took one. Oh, we took two. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. So looking at coal here. Yeah. We have them built in every province that we can, which is great. So these guys will accept this. I'm going to make sure that everything is done coring from Portugal first. We're chaining these wars together, baby. It's great. All right. So these guys are already all the same. The, they're already our brothers in the faith. So let's pull you guys over here then. We we do kind of need to get our boys piled up over here because we're going to need to... Um, we're going to need to flood our men across the channel. And uh, if we lose naval dominance, like instantly, this becomes much harder than it needs to be, you know? When is our truce up with you guys specifically? 66. We've got plenty of time. Mercantilism is fine by me. I'll just take this as soon as I'm able to. No reason to wait on it. Staying ahead of time on tech. Keeping our edge. 
can get some guys black flagged. What in the... Yeah, this is why you don't do the automatic uh, rebel... Or the automatic sieging. They do stuff like that. I mean, if you have enough armies, it doesn't matter, right? Like, I, I don't care. Don't matter to me none. All right, very good. And uh, we're just waiting. Waiting on some sieges to finish up... Or not sieges, cores. Industrial Revolution did not spawn in our country. What in the world? I don't know how it works. Chester, huh? Okay. Yeah, apparently we have to like move our capital over here, I assume, is what that means. I don't really know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, it doesn't matter at all. What happens with industrialization? National tax and national manpower. Oof, that's actually pretty useful. I mean, it doesn't matter because it's for the last couple of years of the game, but... Too scared to engage armies. Do I have armies in the new world? No. What the heck? <laughs> Enemy invasion is imminent. Look at this little six stack of transports. <laughs> all right, cool. So we're going to get our Navy, first of all. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. Let's let you guys repair one tick. All right. Let us go ahead. They have a day of E. Uh, Aachen and Bremen will join them. That's fine. Let's get a general. Go down to C speed four here. Have these guys land in Sussex. Now, they've got a lot of men. These boys are genuinely in danger, like yesterday. So we need to get some more boys over there ASAP. Now, as soon as they win it, they'll take one attrition tick. That's fine. At C, I mean. Oof. So, seems kind of foolish that they attacked us here. Oh. Oh, my. What? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. <laughs> what the heck was that? All right, now we um, use our boats to bring over the rest of these boyos. And now you know that they're doomed. As soon as we land men, it's game. Game blouses, right? That's easy. Um, yeah, that was the only thing I was a little nervous about. And now we piece these guys out. Yoink some dev, so I don't have to core or pay all of that admin to core it. We are quite overextended, but that is fine. We can use our governing capacity stuff here. Build a couple more of these buildings here. Bring down those numbers. We'll be able to build plenty over here once we get that stated up here. And uh, yeah, not bad. Cool. Well, in this war, I need at least to take York and uh, what London. So if I can, you know... I'll Try to make the borders a little bit better. You know, something like this. Yeah, we can go up to Adrian's Wall. Take Calais. Yeah, that's perfect. I probably won't be able to, though. This is like the ideal. Yeah, you got to understand. We're going to have to siege down their, their colonies if we want that. So it's not going to happen. Um, now that these guys are not in the war. Oh, they need to like me a little bit more. So I can send them a small gift of one million ducats. And then they will like me enough that I can start... Uh, Annexing them. I can send some guys over to help them out. They're not in the war. That's why I can annex them. Borromeo. Um, so I just annex them. Pirates of Marrakesh have raided me. You sons of guns, man. All right. Very good. That will happen quite quickly. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, France is extremely destroyed from all of the uh, the sieges we've been doing to it. Understandable. We have... Uh, We've been rough on it. To say the least, we've been rough on it. Um, cool. Let's uh, make sure our fort line is reasonable. Yes. Oh, man. All these forts over here in France. We definitely don't need all of them. This one in Dijon is uh, definitely redundant. Anything over here, I'll keep for now. Maybe not the one in Rem. Rem. Um... The one in Metz is not necessary, but it is on a like out outer province, so I think I'll keep it. Yeah, I think this is fine. That's a decent fort line. I uh, ideally we don't have to fight the Commonwealth again. That's that's kind of my uh, my main thing. I'm just trying to not fight the Commonwealth again. I'm gonna come over here and blockade these lads. Oof, we're gotten some lag spikes. What is this? Yo, what the heck? My game is running slow, slow, slow right now. Let's take the tech. 
Here we go. Wow, what the heck is this lag, man? So clean out some of these these guys over here. Uh, now Burgundy's up in 66, so obviously, yeah. What the heck is this lag? Something's going on in the game, making my game lag out hard. Hmm. Uh, I might need to restart. It's fine when I'm when I'm uh, paused here. Nice. Changing my uh, trade goods. I always appreciate trade good events. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to restart. I don't know what's going on here. This is uh, pretty nuts. The lag. Imperialism against all countries. Do you guys remember when it used to say imperialism against and then it would list out the name of every country that you got imperialism against? <laughs> I definitely remember that. Good stuff. That was fun times. The spam on the screen. Oh. Overextension event. Yep, Scandinavia has joined our coalition. Oh no, whatever will I do? Muscovy. I will improve relations with them. It might be best for us to at least get one friend. Now they don't have, they've got a hundred and some thousand men. I should probably build up a couple more of these 50 stacks just to prevent anybody from getting any funny ideas. Yep, that's fine. It's not, I'm not going to use them. I will use them for nothing. We can use them to like suppress rebels with and that's it. Oh my gosh, this lagging. Um, I don't know what I did. We've won the Siege of London. Very good. Let's have you guys head over here. Let's have you guys head up here with a different general. Uh, Yeah, it's fine. 4-4 four, four is good. We want to like beat the tar out of these guys. Catch them out separately. Yes. Look at all those red numbers. Red numbers are big, big, big numbers. We just sunk a light ship fleet. Very good. We uh, crushed their, cav their cannons there. Siege down Coventry. Let's uh, get our boys into London here. That was a stack wipe except for the cannons, which is great. Let's head up here to Northumberland and siege that down. Oh, nice. We caught out another army over here in Coventry. It's wood, so it's not the best battle, but um, this is fine. Catch these guys out over here. They did reinforce in Coventry, though. Yeah, we're losing that one. Okay, we're going to hold on for a few days. Hopefully we can wipe out these guys over here in Darby. Darby? Well, actually... Depending on how it goes, yep, yeah, we can reinforce, and I actually win both of the fights. Aha! If they want to reinforce, they can, but... Uh, mm. Man, they're dogpiling pretty good. How's their morale? Their morale keeps going up. Yeah, the minus two is no good. All right, we'll pull back. We'll pull back. We can we can handle some losses. It's fine. They have no manpower. <laughs> All right, so both of our boys are fleeing over here to Kent, so that is totally fine. I need to figure out what this lag is is being caused by. This is uh, definitely unplayable right now. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, pull over another stack here. Let's go ahead and boat bomb them, actually. This is fine. Um, I will take these guys and I will combine them and I will get rid of any of the empty stacks. We only have 24,000 infantry left in this army. That is unreasonable. That is crazy. We're going to send these guys home and have them repair. Reinforce, rather. And then we will have all of our empty cannon stacks as well. Also detach. Paradox, please, add, please, please, please add an empty armies button here. So these guys are going to get boat bombed. Miltech sounds good. Right. That's fine. We can boost up that. As soon as we're done with our cores, that's all I really care about. So this is a lot of heavy ships. I'm losing... Losing... Uh, yeah, I'm losing ships here. We're fleeing over here, so this is fine. Wait. Where'd the army go? They didn't even bring the army. Oh, yikes. They were on their way to pick up the army. Yikes. Okay, okay, okay. And then they immediately pop back out. Why Why did you do that? Hey, uh, why did you guys do that? Yeah, why did they do that? I didn't tell them to do that. I definitely didn't. Oh, man. They've got like a quarter of a million men just right here. Son of a gun. 
Right, let's get you guys over here. We just need to wait for a moment of uh, weakness for them. Don't let them win London. I should have given London over to Georgia. Definitely should have done that. That's okay, though. It's not a big deal. Okay. So, let's detach those guys. Have you guys... Uh, we need more infantry, man. It's fine. Nice. They can't get on to Kent. As far as I know, they have to come through Sussex. Because of the way that I occupy the forts over here. Let's go with some national unrest. Get you up to level 5 here. We have pretty good provincial unrest. Yeah, yeah. We have like no unrest. Great. Yeah, it's already all, um, all been converted. So... That is super nice. Yeah. My game is not lagging anymore. I don't know what that was all about. All right. Let's have you guys brought over here with the boats. Perfect. Let's head in here. They've got a lot of men, man. Okay. Let's also bring you guys down here. I'm going to bring you guys over there. And let's bring you guys over here. So the, these, this is our army that needs to reinforce. All right, so let's have you guys detach a template, head in, and then this is like mostly artillery, so let's take like half of you guys over here, split these guys, and they will reinforce as needed. Oh, man. Need to send my best general in there. We already have our best general in there. Son of a gun, man. All right, we outnumber them. Oh, no, 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 they outnumber us. Okay. This is just cannons here. One more monthly tick for these guys. Nice. They fled. Great. Okay. I lost basically all my infantry, but they lost a ton of cavalry or artillery. Okay. This is fine. Let's give this over to Georgia for now. Just uh, so we can kind of fall back and lick our wounds for a bit. Because obviously our armies need to recover. Um, though I think there you could also make an argument that we need to be pushing the attack. But we have no infantry. Like our infantry is just gone. They have no manpower. So they're not going to be able to reinforce. And if they want to come over and siege on London, they can be my guest. They can rot on the fort. I'm going to be reinforcing my armies. And uh, all is well with that. Now, yeah, yeah. That's 91 heavies. I will lose that. They have the wooden wall as well as uh, Nehemiah Clarence here, who is a 433. Yep. Looks like these guys are stuck here. That's smart that they're blockading us here, no doubt. As soon as they uh, they pull that army away, we're gonna or the navy away, we're going to uh, advance, so to speak. Let's have you guys uh, split over here. Yeah, they might not leave. They might just stay there. Honestly, that's a uh, that's smart on them. I. I cannot, I cannot complain. Like, I think they're being, they're being smart. The AI is being intelligent. All right, let's have you guys head over here. Let's have you guys head up here. And we'll keep all these guys here. That way they will not attack us in Coventry. Let's go ahead and barrage those walls. I want to take that Miltech. Infantry shock is useful, I suppose. We've won the Siege of Bremen. Hey, look at that. My little subjects. <laughs> Or my, my little autonomous uh, sieges. Nice. They're blockading us, but it doesn't matter because uh, they are they can't do anything with it. The blockades mean nothing for them. We actually have quite a bit of war score already. If I can occupy the entirety of Britain. Nice. We've won the Siege of Coventry. Head over here to Montgomery. And uh, let's have these guys head over here to Shrewsbury. We just need to make sure that we're not... Um, Losing our, um, our, our um, what's I'm going to call it? Uh, momentum. we got to keep the momentum moving. And the lagging is happening again. Why is the lagging happening? What is this? Something is trying to process in the game. I don't know what it is, but it is making my game lag hard. I'm on speed 4 right now, and it's like speed 2 in multiplayer. No fun. Paradox, please. All right, so the armies are back. They're on London. This is fine. This is fine, lads. This is fine. All right. Let's get our big armies over here. Now, we have our best general over here, Nicodemus, is uh, on Coventry. So, hopefully, he can siege that back sooner rather than later. These guys are here taking attrition to assert our dominance. We do not have... 
any infantry in the, this is like a mostly cavalry, mostly art, cavalry artillery is what I I keep saying the wrong words okay yeah they have no manpower any men that they lose is like gone like they're 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 reduced to atoms they will not be able to replace them Essex is farmland so we're gonna head over there as soon as we are able to I'm still overextended gosh man come on baby finish up <laughs> finish up these uh these cores here as soon as those go away we won't get these stupid events anymore I'll be able to stab up a bit as well we have plenty of admin mana once I win this siege as well that would be really nice all right cool so we're waiting four more years uh, and I can attack these guys and annex Granada. I will be able to annex Savoy pretty soon as well. The coalition is about as big as it could possibly get. Um, so as long as I do not let Burgundy go, uh, in and I can annex Genoa, I'm going to need to head over here and attack Hormuz, who is guaranteed by the Mamluks. And I will be able to take what I need from the Mamluks and Hormuz in one more. Um, so if not the next episode, the one after that will be the final episode. So if you guys have something that you would like to see on the channel, make sure you leave it in the comments below because I'm definitely looking for some inspiration, things that you guys might want to see. If you want to see it, leave it in the comments and I will be happy to consider it. If you want to join my Discord or my subreddit, you can check that out linked in the description. Uh, also, the other day I released uh, Ancient Reborn. It is a Carthage mod. It's actually supposed to be a you know, a st historical nation expansion mod. But right now, Carthage is the nation that is in there. Uh, I'm working on Assyria for an update. And uh, I have some people who have been maybe talking about putting in some work to do like a Ptolemaic Egypt. So uh, if you guys are interested in something like that, check out uh, check it out on the Steam Workshop. It's called Ancients Reborn. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to support me on Patreon to get early access to Chubert vids, which is a great way to support the channel and also get something in return. And uh, that is all I've got for you for today. So this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.